I'm going to use an extreme example. I have ABS brakes in my car. In the event of a panic stop, you're standing on your brakes, the computer is making 18 safety-related decisions per second per wheel. A hummingbird's wings don't move that fast. 18 times a second, those calipers are, are applying and releasing. Your mind, you can't even wrap your mind around 18 times a second. That's, that, that's PDF, pretty damn fast. But anyway, 18 times a second. The caliper breaks. Well, that's a defect in material and workmanship, Mr. Ziegler. That caliper's covered. Yes, the caliper is covered. It broke. It had a defect in material and workmanship. It's a, it's a steel casting. Covered. But it scored the rotors and disintegrated the brake pads, which are not covered. Mm. Service contractor cover them. They're non-covered parts caused by failure of a covered part. Everybody follow what I just said? Non-covered parts caused by the failure of a covered part. Service contracts cover that. Manufacturer warranties do not. And of course, we've got trip interruption and towing. Towing, 50% of today's cars are drivability problems when they break. 50% of the time, you cannot drive that car. Matter of fact, I've, I've had... Uh, I'm going to say I had 11 Escalades since 2000, <laughs> give or take one or two. I've had 11 Escalades. One of my Escalades, I forget what year it was, maybe the 2008 one or so. One of my Escalades, the power steering unit went out. The car stopped. The car would not drive another 10 feet. The computer shut the car down. Today's cars are drivability problems more than 50% of the time, and many times the car will, the computer of the car will shut the car down and you can't continue to drive it. Is that true or false? Absolutely. Okay, Mr. Customer, you haven't got time to arrange for, for Aunt Martha's car to replace it. You need a rental car. We supply it. You're going to need towing. We supply it. You broke down in Orlando. We're going to give you a rental car replacement, and we're going to repair it out of town. Because we're good everywhere, but except we're in the United States and Canada. If your car breaks in the United States and Canada, you went to Mexico, dumbass, you're on your own. <laughs> Service contract don't cover you in Mexico, but it covers you in Canada and the U.S. So anyway, you got coverage. You know, think about it. I'm about to show you one of the best word tracks in the book. I'm about to light your candle. No, wait a second. First of all, let's, let's go to page 31. Women. God bless women. One thing we know, and I'm going to talk in generalities here. You can't gen generalize any woman. You can't say that all women do this or all women do that. You can't generalize it. But let's say most women... Most women distrust repair facilities. Most women have a distrust working with a service department. So when I'm selling a woman a service contract, there is a special presentation I will do for a female customer. You never have to negotiate the price of repairs. When you have a parts and labor program, we will deal with the service department. We will, we will make sure that they don't overcharge you, that they don't do unnecessary repairs. They're not doing repairs that don't need to be done. We'll be sure they're not using counterfeit parts. All service contracts require factory authorized replacement parts, even the independents. So there'll be no counterfeit parts, only factory authorized replacement parts. Now what do I mean by factory authorized? That doesn't necessarily mean factory brand names. Things the factory would accept. Things the factory accepts. Ford Motor Company does not build Fram oil filters, but it is a factory authorized replacement filter. So 
get the word factory authorized replacement parts, not factory brand name. All service contract companies, independent or manufacturer backed, all service contracts require no counterfeit parts, only factory authorized replacement parts. No unqualified labor will be working on your car. All service contract companies require, what's the qualification, AS? ASE certified. ASE certified technicians. So all service contract companies will be sure that you only have qualified people working on your car. So Mrs. Customer, no unnecessary repairs, will handle the negotiations, no counterfeit parts, no unqualified people working on your car. That's the presentation for a female customer that is most likely going to hit, hit the button. That they will accept that presentation. What do you think? No unqualified labor. Only, factorized author, only factory authorized replacement parts. Okay, turn to page 33. I am about to light your candle. Everybody ready for this one? What is this document on page 33? Buyer's guide. What do you do with the buyer's guide? What? The customer signs off on it. Anything else? Okay, watch what I do with it. This is going to light your candle. <coughs> Mr. Customer, and I have this in the F&I office, exact one out of the window of the car they're buying. Mr. Customer, this document is another mandatory disclosure required by the Federal Trade Commission. Now, Mr. Customer, this says we have a limited warranty, implied warranty, whatever the top says. Now, Mr. Customer, notice it says here that a service contract is available on this vehicle at an additional charge. Everybody sees that? A service, and that, this is the exact form, I mean, I, word for word, a service contract is available on this vehicle at an additional charge. Mr. Customer, I am required by federal law to make that known to you. Matter of fact, I've checked off yes. I need your initials right here that I told you about that service contract. I did not withhold that from you. I told you you can buy a service contract. Let me have your initials. Miss, Mrs. Customer, let me have your initials over your husband's. So I got the husband and the wife both to initial that. Now turn the page. Mr. Customer, this is the back of the form. Notice at the bottom of the back of the form, it says, important, the information on this form becomes part of any contract to buy this vehicle. That is exactly the wording on the back of the buyer's guide. This document becomes part of your sales agreement to buy the car by federal law. I didn't write this. The federal government wrote this. Important, the information on this form becomes part of any contract to buy this vehicle. Mr. Customer. The federal government has listed, I didn't list these things, the federal government listed nearly 100 items that commonly fail in pre-owned cars. By your signature fixed, this becomes part of your sales contract that you have agreed to self-insure on all these items if you don't purchase a service contract. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By your signature fixed, you're agreeing to self-insure and it becomes part of your sales contract. How strong was that one? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I've never actually thought to use that. This closing tool. 